I was saying to Alan, the best way of seeing the illuminations is by a tram, but, uh, you know, if you're concerned about the virus still being on a packed tram. This is a tram depot, by the way. The vintage ones are on Rigby Road, up in the central area. There's a balloon tram there. Yes, I'm doing a U-turn, I don't know if it's allowed or not, but... There we are, welcome back. Yes, welcome back to what? To, to Blackpool, welcome back to Blackpool. So here we go, full run through of the lights. Nice sunset. Not too congested so far, is it? Right, it won't be. It's down at the bottom end. So I'll go up to right at the end, right at the end. Um, I was thinking of having some grub, but like I said, I can just head for home. I might do a second run through if it's not too congested. I'll turn around, go the other way, and end up back down here, and then head for home. Via the motorway, I think. Oh, I got a little, what's that there last year? A little television screen with moving pictures on. You see, you see? As the drizzle stops, is there anything on the lens? I'll stop at the tower and check the lens. Or I'll stop at that comedy carpet and have a look up and down. Someone donating. I normally mention that the money generated with council tax from all the hundreds, well, there's thousands in the B&Bs. On that four in a bed, he said there's three and a half thousand B&Bs in Blackpool. So how much are they paying council tax? All them hotels, all them arcades, all the nightclubs, pubs, normal houses, loads of them lovely houses we went past earlier, all paying a fortune in council tax. And how much is spent on the illuminations? Look, look, half of them are out. Have they not checked? I should say, get them mended. I gave them two pound last year. Replace the faulty bulbs, Albert. They used to have a bloke with a big bag of bulbs and a cherry picker. See, look, look one, two, three, four, there's, all, there's loads of them. Look, look, can you see again? <laughs> I thought LEDs are meant to last forever. I might still work eh? Well, they lit up the big one, now it's gone dark. Get a better view coming the other way, like I said. Artworks, that's a tail of a whale, apparently. Metal artworks, but... The others have gone rusty, and I think they took the mirror ball down for renovation and not put it back up yet. Oh, there we are. As featured in Fairground, the uh, Simply Red Mick Hucknall song. Fairground. Wonder if we had a go on it. <laughs> I've been on it once, that was enough. I were black and blue. It says designed by computer, but it is not smooth running like them American ones, nice and smooth. That jerks you about really badly and had a bad neck. I thought I'd brought my bloody neck. Probably the computer it was designed on were probably a Sinclair Spectrum 16K, not a super duper one, it's wiring out all the you know, how could he not realise it jerks? There's something wrong here, it jerks. Well, never mind, we're not gonna. We can't spend another fortune doing it all again. Leave it alone. Eee. 
I had a bad neck, I had a headache, and a bad neck all week. One of my kids claws at this time. Twenty past eight, is it? Ten past eight, can't see. Now it's changed over the years. Should I uh, put a few postcards up again? There was an open air swimming bath here, built in. I don't know when it was built, but demolished in the late sixties, early seventies. They all had a Morecambe have one, Southport have one. You call them Lidos, don't you? Everyone's splashing about. But for some reason, probably because of the weather. They just scrapped them all off and Blackpool's went and they built that in its place. The sand castle. Put these two across. There we are, crazy golf. I suggested to Alan that he has a crazy golf built on his uh, lawn <laughs> but then he said the grass isn't smooth enough I know the bloke at work that's a golf oh, I said I play golf I enjoy it what's your handicap I said my ball always gets stuck in a little wooden windmill yeah silly sad <laughs> I said, it's more exciting than normal golf just whacking a bloody ball for half a mile so the skill involved with crazy golf <laughs> you just give me a black look velvet coaster illuminated pumpkin coaches for you and your loved one of a romantic trot through the lights try to pretend you can't smell the nasty pong coming from the back end of the horses What the well looks after. Oh, riding on the tram tracks and all lights. Yeah, cycling the lights. That's another option. Tram is the best way because you're not stuck in traffic like this. Or I cycle the lights, but not on the tram tracks like them. I suppose when the tram's coming, you could soon, uh, maybe I'll soon veer off them, but. It's still a bit risky, isn't it? Yeah, they're nice where the Spoons pubs, aren't they? The chap who runs the company always gets the bad press. Restaurant and steakhouse. Very busy that gets. Orange fish. <laughs> I'd have a shock if they really were orange. Caught locally. Radioactive. Oh, that Folly Berger is closed down. Some kind of show with dancing girls on, I think. Should have checked it out, shouldn't I? Viking Hotel. Do you want me to speed up a bit? Let's just start going past all the traffic. The glasses don't seem uh, to have any drizzle on, so hopefully the lens hasn't either. We're coming to the ornamental bits now. Caso Franco, Italian Restaurante, Shadow Hotel, South Beach. How romantic.
A walk on the wild side, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> They're doing a tour of the grot spots the other night though. Shouldn't focus and dwell on the nasty bits. On your right. She's music boy. Family diner. I should have checked that out when I came in uh, July. Unless it were closed, otherwise I think I would have done. A pumpkin coach up ahead, although I don't have a noisy exhaust. One year, some silly buggers with a loud exhaust tear us in past the horses, frightening them. There's my fan. Not exactly cooling the engine down, tootling along like this. In second, I put it in third. <coughs> Bleeding third and brake lights come on. It's nice and it all blue, Lindeen. Long way off the tower yet. That's why I was going to zap ahead. Keep my eye out for holiday makers. So where's he going right in the middle? What are you doing all of it? It's a good thing about motorbikes, isn't it? Pull in now because there's a red light. Oh we got indicators. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Them bikes again, see, they'll be going straight on. Let's stick behind these bikes, they're not really going at a mad pace, neither are they. Yeah, get in front of that van, we don't sit back in another van. Not panic, I'm not a copy. You're not doing anything, anything illegal anyway. See, nice rope descending. The golden, the golden Mile section. Fun Palace. works. Funland. Um. That's not lit up. Don't need to check them. Oh, another one not lit up. Um, Coral Island. Spyglass. Oh, where's the Wild West place that I went to? 
Right, it's there on the other end. Spy, well, what spy glass? Nearly time to pull over. Pull over. <laughs> yeah, I can't do a beans on toast. Oh, very nice. That's a new feature that wasn't there last year. A little walkthrough on the comedy carpet. I normally stop right at the tower, so it's there, isn't it? after the crossing Still a recording, nothing's wrong. Yep, everything's alright. Now then, look at the tower, look at the tower, the tower. Oh. Nice, isn't it? Let's wait for a pattern change. I'm going to do a pattern change. Oh, my next 30. <laughs> Is that meant to be a skateboarding park? Everyone seems to be bashing skateboards about on it. I had a skateboard in the 70s. Centaur 4 green wheels. Mace had cryptonic wheels. Super fast left me in a cloud of dust. And the deck was a pro am. I forgot what the trucks were. All them crazies in the 70s. I even had a purple chopper. Someone posted a picture of a chopper, but it wasn't a genuine one. And Sarah Crab Crabtree liked it. And someone said, Sarah, that's not a genuine chopper. It's a modern take on it. Spotlight's still working. Tower has tower changed. It's still the same colour in it. Purple and blue. Like I said, there's limitations to my camera. And yeah, that's well packed, isn't it? Someone wants to cross, so they're going to stop. We're not far from the second part, which are those boards. I keep forgetting what they're called. Them uh, moving boards, are they all going to be the same? Alice in Wonderland, Sooty and Sweep, uh, Egyptians, a motorbike jump, uh, and like I said, Doctor and the Daleks used to be on the roundabout at Dean Square up here. Now it's a Spitfire, so I'll see if the Spitfire is all lit up. And we're talking about lit up, where are the trams? Maybe they're just for weekends. Mm -mm. 
Robert's Rock and Aces. Um, get some lights on Albert. Um, Noise pier. Acoustics and the Beatles sound like band. Acoustics used to be a band. We played uh, the Beatles bass called Acoustics. I didn't bother going, of course, last weekend. Nothing to go for. I lost interest in all that cobblers. I mean, I like the music because individuals, they were just four gobshites when you read what they got up to. <laughs> so it's the music I like, not the personalities. Everyone raves about John Lennon being a god, but uh, you got up to some uh, rather shady things. I think he went by me, do you know, with all the drugs he. Used to shovel down LSD and it sent um, Sid Barrett by me and Peter Green by me, but Lennon, because of his intellect, sort of stayed normal, but he just went a bit weird. Um, again, drizzly again. See, mermaid out. Check your bones. <clears throat> Nice shade of blue. Where's a bit where's a bloke with a bag of bulbs that used to replace all the faulty ones? Oh, even that. Missing some lettering. Caught a white gloss paint to tie that up. Imperial Hotel, where all the MPs had the conferences and where the George Foreman Society meet four times a year. I used to go to that till I lost interest. I get into little hobbies and then lose interest. Grand Hotel, Rutland Hotel. <laughs> this is a Grand Hotel owned by the Hilton Change, but it's all red brick. Looks like a ruddy tower block. Conference and spa. So these are circus acts on the little illuminated boys on every lamp post. I was saying to someone at work, Polish girl, that uh, said, oh yes, in the 70s when I was young, they're all moving about animatronics and there were many more bulls per square foot, <laughs> or so it seemed. Oh, there's a Spitfire. I should go around the roundabout, shouldn't I? And have a closer look. You see, go around a few times. So much for the night breaker. Well, I can see it now, but uh, I can't to, uh, turn my head round enough to see the Spitfire. Sorry. Anything? Anything? Come and see it for yourself. That looks nice online. The old uh, Savoy, that's an old one from Edwardian times. On a postcard, there's nothing here when the uh, old Gin or Gin Inn, Gin Pub was there. What's happened there? Fire, dereliction. 
That's another one, Cliff's nice elegant hotel. But look at the lettering. I mean, is that lettering? It's crap. Tableaus, that's the word, isn't it? The tableaus, that's what they are, the tableaus. Elegant monkey saying, stay there, I'll pay. That's why I'm not having your pay for a holiday. You need to have a break. And they have themed weekends, you have a 60s weekend, Elvis weekend, I said I know. But what would I do in Blackpool on my own? Like from glug lots of beer. Trudging around streets till my feet hurt even more. Now then, yes, tableau, that's what they're called. Is it tableau E-U-X? Tableau, like a French tableau. What's all this? religious things another world is possible Greek temple yes, motorbike jump over buses pirate galleon, yes, that was there every year so then pirates have spotlights on them so we can actually see them sooty and sweep sooty da 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 sooty da 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 dee 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 Them 1920s sons. Fish, butterfly. I don't know what that is. Two not lit up. Peacocks. Yep, grandfather clock again. Mouth running up. That's a uh, little Miss Muffet. Indians. And a totem pole. Hawaiian dancing girls with moving coconuts. <laughs> Swan Lake. There's the enchanted garden at, uh, right at the top. I once went for a walk around there. Like LEDs all uh, in a group. Kids will love it, won't they? Kids, little kids will be fascinated till they get to about eight. And then they'll think it's rather feeble. But I'm not going to put it down because it is what it is, isn't it? Free show. Just to uh, add a bit more interest to your holiday in Blackpool. You know, there's Doctor Who's Tidys and the Dalek. Not sure if it's the same ones that used to spin round or not. Where's the enchanted garden? It's enchanted Daleks instead. A spooky auntie dance. Not a Dalek. That's an Egyptian one, that's Alice in Wonderland one. And he's at the end. Yep. Noddy. Noddy, diddly diddy, noddy, diddly diddy. When he's in Australia, a little girl was dressed as, uh, what's she called? Dorothy, as a Wizard of Oz. And she couldn't say, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, lions and tigers. And I sent a gif of uh, Judy Garland doing it. She must be going to a fancy dress thing. She looks just a point. Must be able to get her an outfit, little basket with a little toy dog in, little blue dress, ruby slippers like glittery. Very cute. She's only six. Cafe Royal clothes. Sorry, Albert, you could have got out then. Chinese takeaway? Yeah, I could murder a Chinese. Not literally. No, well, I'll go back down the prom, as it wasn't too bad, was it? Check I'm still recording. Let's see, that's Penny Stone. You should rename that hill in Yorkshire, Penny Stone. Rather than P 
penny scorn spelt differently. <laughs> I check the lens. I'm going to get stuck behind that. If you're turning off all of it, not getting stuck behind you, you're blocking the view of the lights. Manfredi, Italian ice cream. Yes, I'll pull in. Not getting struck behind the bloody lorry. So you can see a slightly different perspective, as I say, every year. Because of this wide-angle lens, they'll appear a long way away. Yes, another tram. Where's, where's illuminated trams? Vintage ones. Mm. It's a Monday. We'll not get them out on a Monday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, we'll keep them locked up. Well, why? Boom boom! Boom boom! Didn't Mr. Roy die this year? They say it's the same person who was on uh, the heartbeat, that grumpy old sod. I thought that's not the same chap that was on uh, Basil Brush. Hey, there's some not working! Get amended, Albert! Right then, look, look, look. I'm not paying if not getting a full quarter of light. It's getting mended. Isn't that racist? <laughs> Running bear, love little white girl. Running bear, love little white girl. They meant to be, you often see them spooky faces in early silent films, don't you? See them ending them, see cherry picker. Are we to put some new bulbs in them that's not working? Ew. Yeah, slightly more lit up, the Buccaneer. It's advertising the Buccaneer restaurants and family bar. Where I go. Twice when I've been back. Go on, go on, go on. Pity I've not got my ties and own wolf whistle going. Hotel Sheraton. Yeah, we're nice and peaceful up here, wouldn't they? I think I'd be wearing a suit if I was relaxing in these posh hotels. I mean, all them postcards in the olden days, everyone was dressed up. You all had shirt, ties, tweed, you know, waistcoats on. Even working class people had uh, parade down the promenade in the Sunday best. They had a sense of pride, didn't they, in those days? Should I come back in a suit tomorrow? <laughs> we want to have fake gold watches dangling from my waistcoat. Yeah, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I could pretend to be a uh, Lord Melbury like on Faulty Towers. Name? I read my name. You've only written Melbury. I haven't got a Christian name, no, my name is Lord Melbury, therefore I just write Melbury. <laughs> uh, faulty towers again.
Yeah, giving valuables to put in the safe and it was a brick. <laughs> we need conned him out of... Uh, what are you trying to con him out of? Coins, you collected coins in it. If you like, I know a chap at Sotheby's. I'll take your collection away and have them valued faulty. Oh yes, the guest Lord Melbury, yes. <laughs> Even that gets bleeped out. What were I watching last night that were bleeped? All sorts of stuff gets bleeped, you know. Oh, this was shown in the 70s when attitudes were different. Bleep. Oh, we can't say that. Bleep. Was it stepped on? It was on again today, but in the, in the afternoon I thought, would they edit out the naughty bits? Because it's when you married that stripper. Right, gorgeous bird. And then all the. <laughs> took old Albert to the. Uh, on the honeymoon. <laughs> and he ate a lot of oysters and got food poisoning. And he left Z to his new wife with the. Uh, the what do you call it, the rep. <laughs> and within a week she'd left poor old Harold. Harold, Harold! See, that were brilliant, weren't it? I mean, the series were brilliant. All three, was it two or three films? The one about the Greyhound. That was number two, stepped on some ride again. You just get bleeped out, or... Banned. Oh no, no, we can't have people. No, we can't have that word in. Bleep it, bleep it. That's nice. Tiffany's. Good, it's packed. Tiffany's, yeah, I like to stay there. Would I leave my bike on these car parts or would it get would it get attacked? Could put a sheet over it, you know, a fitted uh, cover. They were saying on that four in a bed, oh there's no parking, well the reason there's no parking is that in Victorian times everyone came by train, there was a big central station then, north, central and south, now there's just south and north. So you come on the train wouldn't you, people didn't have cars then, that's why there's no parking at most places. So, why don't people come on the train these days? Leave your car at home, come on the train. Probably because it's so expensive, they should do a cheap deal for seaside resorts, shouldn't they? Are you going to Blackpool? Yes. Oh, well, we'll do your special uh, return deal. Mm -mm -mm. Go on, go on, go on. Well, is the tower the same colour as well? <laughs> I thought that'd be flashing and changing colours. Unless I've missed the cycle. He's loving beer. It's kind of Stella. Seems a bit uh, pissed. Poo smoking wacky wacky as well. Where is it coming from this car? Possibly. Everyone's on it, aren't they? Oh yeah, I smoke a joint, man, and all the colours are more vibrant than... That huge truck's still there. There's going to be a gap somewhere. You get past this lot. Not really, because by the time there's a gap, a lot have come. Imagine coming out promenade in a huge truck, what the hell for?
Well, after these lights, I should be able to do a bit of filtering, not risking it here. Is that a horse and cart? Yes. Is it coming up here? It is coming out of this car, they're all on wacky wacky. Yeah, it's been here a few years. I think it used to be called Bailey's in 1780 something, according to Walk on the Wild Side, Stephen what's it. And then it, was, it must have been demolished and then it made the Metropole. It's empty. We called it a night. No one's booking us, we're too expensive. The block from work, what do you recommend for a bike to eat? I said, oh, a pirate bar at Coral Island. Oh, the hell, I said, what? We've gone off at Blackpool South, I said, yeah. <laughs> Got one of them pumpkin courses to Coral Island, £25. No, I said, it will be. I said, you did all right. You have to pay for horses' food. Plus, it were, were you with your wife? He said, yeah. Well, there you are, then you shouldn't complain. If you're treating a loved one, don't complain about how much it's costing. Made me fan doing it, not too badly. Right, red light, come on, Albert, come on. Get past that lorry and wait. I'm going to go red again. So sweet, yeah, I've been in there. The people enjoy good food and love great music. <laughs> and yeah, I could feel engine getting very, very hot. Red light, is that truck going to go through? Is he turning off? Another tram, modern one. Through the tower there. Not stopping again. What time is it? Ten to nine ish. It's still purple. A huge purple tower. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, staying purple for a reason. <clears throat> Pardon. Rubber bands too tight. Why do we do this every year when it's so congested? Well, it's so bad coming the other way, was it? But everyone's doing what I'm doing, going home. Heading for the motor. It's easy, you're going to go down the bloody pro in a double decker. <laughs> I hope I've set the camera right. 
I'm still recording, you'll see. Yep, new battery in. Well, that's a long time. So the only new things I can see are these uh, comedy carpet globe things you can walk through. <clears throat> what are you doing Albert? What are you doing? You're trying to avoid blocking these side streets. Steaming up. So, so. Vegas Diner Bar and Grill. Tower, tower, you see tower. Still purple. Wolver, sorry we have claws. What the hell? How long ago? Who's claws? You see that old Wolver sign? Well, it was closed years ago, didn't it? It's a tunnel of love. Um. I'm going to get past this twerk. Nice, isn't it? This is the British car though. Not sure what that music was for. Oh, he's projecting something on the tower. I should have a look at that, shouldn't I? Plus my back needed to cool down a bit. Can hardly see it. Tower, tower, still purple. Isn't there a name for it? Light something or other. I forgot what it's called, not light sure, light something. Light something spectacular. Modern from Thank you. Thank you very much. No.
Yeah, pull over a bit, rabbits. A golden mountain. So as this video attempted you to come for a little holiday. I expect to spend lots of money, but if the weather's nice, you can have a free day on the beach, like my video in July. You know what I mean? Watch out for pegs. Watch out for pegs and pumpkins. Red light, green light, giddly dee Venus and Mars are all right Pirates Bay family, boy that was a waste of time wasn't it? And I went right to the end of the pier to see what was going on Just a huge boy where I had a, ni had a nice glass of wine there but uh, hardly worth the effort of walking to the end of the here. I did win a little teddy bear on the door actually that's how you score 45 to win and I got a 9 or 7 but the deal then chucked another treble 9 <laughs> yeah we've got a queue up ahead so I might as well let get across Reflex Foxhall Ah, oh, going through a red light, very naughty I've done it myself though I wanted to get moving because it uh, smells very hot. Don't think anything's gonna burn, is it? But, uh, another tram, modern one. Where's all the vintage ones? Um, where's the rocket? Where's the uh, lifeboat? That was the other one, the lifeboat. A fisherman's friend adverts plastered on it. Steaming up. It's me getting hot with this hot engine. Fan's working very well though. New promenade, that was on the uh, four in a bed program. Come on, come on. Marvellous. Looked like it were closed, didn't it? Did they actually win? There were a black woman and her son. And of course she was such a sweet natured lady, I think that's why she won. Not necessarily the best place, is it, that they vote on? Because she was so nice and she cooked all the breakfast and made all the beds and cleaned up herself she got top marks Lindine, there we are, Lindine <laughs> as I keep saying, mum and dad went there for years, they loved it although she went back with me sister 
and they're arguing, they couldn't hear the artist for a bunch of women cackling and screaming. They said, can you please keep your noise down, we're trying to listen to the singer. You won't, you won't. I said, well, if everyone is today to get drunk, what do you expect? Not proper cabaret, them sorts of places, although you think people have managed to shut up while someone's singing. So oh, there we are, illuminations. Yeah, it's his wine lunch. It's tooting. I think it was a tram, that's a tram toot. The Alan Bradley's ghost. <laughs> yeah, people just stroll along without realising there's danger from trams, so watch out for trams if you come in here. See, it's not so bad down here, it's just that middle bit that gets congested near the tower because people are pulling in and pulling out like that big bus. Yeah, it's well, it's like a minibus talking to buses, split screen. That's been there for years, Pablo's. Oh, the balcony's open now. It's nice, like, because you can sit on that balcony and watch everything go by. Yeah, slow down a bit. Lit up when you see it. Fairground. Do 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 do. Fairground. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Fairground. Do 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 do. Loving memory. Do 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 do. You never hear of him anymore, do you? What's happened to Mick Upnall? Has his voice gone? Or has he just made enough money and retired, like a lot of them do? A lot of them are selling off the song catalogues for millions, aren't they, to be used as advertising songs. A lot have done that. Who was the latest one? Did, even Bob Dylan did it, didn't he? Did a deal for millions. Buy all my songs for a hundred million. Yeah, I can retire then. Someone said he's got a place in Scotland. Here we are on the boulevard. I should have looked through the windows, but... <laughs> Imagine if I was stood at the window with my helmet on. There's someone at the window! Mm. Is it worth a donation, do you think? Despite the few bulb failings. Hampton, that's a nice looking hotel, isn't it? Hampton. There's a big gap behind me. De -de -de -de. Hello. I gave two pounds last year, so I'll make another donation. There's a few faulty bulbs. When I was little in the 70s, I used to come round a chap with a big bag of bulbs and then get up a cherry picker and change them. But uh, maybe we'll get round to it. I'll give you two pounds again. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I wish I could afford a week here, it'd be great, wouldn't it, to have a nice rest and a few beers, but, uh, <laughs> right, see ya. I 
that leaflet going to disappear in a blast of wind on the motorway? My wallet's still there, yes. See, that weren't there last year, I'm sure. A little telly screen, you see, you see. They'd be peaceful, wouldn't they, on this crescent? Like I said about parking, would I feel safe parking about? Oh, why would I come on the back though? Train's only £14 return from my hometown. Well, a bus and then a train. Five for the bus, £14 train, so less than £20. You couldn't do that. I just filled up with fuel nearly £20. Right, I'll test my... Uh, where are I? Thank you very much. That's the end of the lights. But I'll test this uh, new bulb. Osram Nightbreaker, 60 55 watt on the motorway as soon as it's uh, one of those unlit ones.